Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA have finally gone and done what we've been waiting a week now for them to do with this whole pack situation. If you guys remember it from last week on Friday, we're going to talk about all of that because EA actually gave back the packs. It finally came, right? The compensation we've been talking about, it has arrived. So that's a lot of market impact to kind of go over in this video. So we're going to take a look at that. Headliners Team 2 dropped yesterday and they're actually dropping on the market right now with, of course, EA in the past couple hours starting to put out these packs and give back these packs. And how is this going to impact the market? Because I think, you know, we've seen some compensation situations like this before really impact the market on the morning after they do this because we've ta been talking about it all week as well. Almost every time they end up compensating people, they do it late night UK time and nothing has changed about that. Late night, just a few hours ago, it is like 3 a.m. UK time, uh, they started compensating these cards and a lot of these headliners have dropped in price, icons have dropped in price, literally everything that is in packs is getting supplied and I think it's gonna happen a little bit more into today on Saturday as well. So we're gonna take a look at this. This is new territory as well. So we're gonna have to talk it through. We don't know how exactly it's gonna pan out, but we will do our best knowing how situations like this have kind of played out before on this game. So let's take a look at it, right? This is the tweet that EA FIFA Direct put out a few hours ago. They said, update. We have started reaching out to impacted players in game. This process will take some time and we will update this thread when all players have been messaged. And as of right now, they have not updated this message yet. And this message has been tweeted out. It was about four hours ago when they started the compensations and giving back packs on this game. Now, if you're unaware about why they're giving back packs, well, last Friday with Headliners Team 1, Headliner Aaron Ramsdale was shown on the loading screen, but he was not supposed to be in packs at that time. So, everybody who opened up packs like the first hour to two hours after Friday content from Headliners Team 1 is getting those packs returned to them and that is the process that is going on right now. I believe a lot of people, you, you guys have been tweeting me uh, screenshots of what you've seen and you've seen screenshots and, and messages like this. Thank you for your patience uh, as the team worked through this issue that was impacting your account. We have granted you the correct content that can be claimed through the store. And this has been going on, like I said, for like four hours, but there's still people tweeting and they're like, yo, I have not got my pa packs back yet. So this really tells me, I mean, we knew they were gonna have to give out so many packs. And as you can see here, people tweeting that, yo, I'm getting my packs, I'm getting these, other people still have not got them yet. But we knew this was gonna impact so many people because that is literally the prime time on FIFA to open packs. So since this has been dropped, what has been impacted on the market? Well, it's it's been kind of crazy actually because a lot of these headliner cards have dropped off a decent amount in price. Right when EA tweeted this out and they said, hey, we're gonna be dropping some packs. I was specifically looking at this Muhammad Salah card. I had actually bought one at 1.38 on a really crazy snipe. He was like 1.45 um, and I bought one at 1.38 and I bought another one at 1.42 because I was taking a risk that the compensation might not be until later this weekend uh, and that this Salah might go back up a little bit, but that is not the case. So I had to sell my two Salahs uh, with a slight loss, but these cards have dropped, right? Vinny Jr. I think was like 1.65. The brand new Vinny Jr. card was 1.65 mil. When they released compensation, he is right now 1.55 sitting on the market. And as you can see, a lot of these cards that are, that are listed here, these are all guys that were just packed, right? One owner, tradable, no games played, right? This tells you a lot about what, what is happening on the market right now. Um, some of the lower tier cards like Kimmich, Kimmich was like 210,000 coins when this compensation came out. I believe right now he's like 170,000 coins, 180. So a lot of these headliner cards are dropping because most of the ones that you're seeing come onto the market are all of these extra packs that EA is just giving back to people. And that's going to be crazy for this whole entire week. These headliner team two cards are going to have so much extra supply because there's some really big packs that EA are giving back. Now, since a lot of people and a lot of you guys are watching this video, like, um, you know, the main user base, Europe, right? Europe is the largest user base. The largest number of people that play FIFA are from that general, um, you know, area in the world. And right now, of course, when they've been doing this compensation, a lot of those people have been asleep. So what they're going to do, and a lot of people are going to wake up today and they're going to see 
packs on their account and i really think uh and we saw this again before if you guys remember we mentioned it right with the uh when they they compensated people for their mistakes with the uh versus ice and fire promo when they had the wrong versions of cards in packs a lot of those cards dipped low again in the morning after they compensated people and gave back those packs, I think the same thing is going to happen here today. I honestly think that people are going to wake up today on Saturday. They're going to see they have, oh my goodness, I got my packs back. If they haven't opened them already, and as people are still getting their compensation packs back right now, um, as I'm recording this, I think it's just going to bring more supply onto the market. And I think it's going to drop these headliner cards a little bit more. Now, I do think there is going to be a balance, right? Everybody that wants to open their packs is going to open their packs. There's going to be some people that want to save their packs. Those people are going to save, right? So once everybody who has the packs that wants to open them gets them opened, they're going to be making some coins from that, right? It's basically going to bring more supply and more coin value onto the market from those free packs, some that were tradable, some that were non-tradable. The tradable ones, right, for people to open lightning rounds last week, it's going to bring some coins on the market and bring some supply. So I do think that you will see a bit of a, a drop in the market this morning on anything that is in packs. I mean, you could even see this on cards like Lionel Messi, right? His gold item, which I believe right now is yeah, 307,000 coins. I would expect some of these cards. I even think Cristiano Ronaldo's card has dropped off like, and it looks like it may have dropped off like 10,000 coins or so, as you can see, right? Boom. Okay, that one's not fresh. That's second owner. But you're seeing people that are packing these cards from these packs that EA are giving back. Now, I'm actually a little bit in the mud with another card here. Take a look at this Roberto Carlos. There's been so many fresh, look at this, 1.19. Roberto Carlos was 1.3 mil a couple hours ago. I bought one at 1.2, trying to sell it a little bit above 1.3. And literally all of a sudden, there have been uh, people packing these Roberto Carlos's out of nowhere. Like in the past two to three hours, I've seen so many of this guy be packed. And if I go and look on the icon market as well, I see so many of these icons that are fresh first owner. And it's, it's because of people that are getting all these packs back and it's EA really supplying the market with these packs. And we knew this was gonna happen, but it's still, it's crazy to see and crazy to actually watch it happen on the game. So I really just don't see why this market would go up a lot today on, on, uh, on Saturday morning. I think it's gonna be more people doing the same thing, right? Look at this Balak. This Balak is someone that's trying to trade it, but this Cantona 3.2, somebody just packed Prime Cantona, probably from one of these packs that they saved up. And the reason we can look at this and say, hey, this is from those given back packs, they're not running lightning rounds uh, at this time of night. So it's not like during the winter wild cards promo when you had constant supply coming because of uh, lightning rounds, they're, they're not running lightning rounds. They have some packs here available in the store, but these are not legit lightning rounds. So the supply that is coming really is from EA giving back these packs. And again, I, I think you're gonna see an hour this morning or maybe two hours where a lot of these prices, especially on the headliner cards, really get low. I think they're really gonna get low for like an hour or two and then potentially rebound back up a little bit as people buy some of these back to start playing weekend league and stuff like that. Cancelo was 330K. Now he's down to 300,000 coins. Uh, the brand new Teate center back card um, was, I believe, like 120,000 coins. And right now he is under 100K. I mean, think about how much this guy is going to get packed from these, these packs that everybody's opening today. So that's really how I feel the market's gonna be reacting to this. Uh, this morning, today on Saturday, you're going to see more drops, but then you might see a slight bit of a rebound. So depending on how low a guy like Salah or Barella, Barella was like 330,000 coins. Now he's down under 300K. So he's dropped like 35,000 coins. Um, depending on how low some of these cards drop today and into this morning on Saturday, there's definitely going to be some opportunities to trade with them and to flip them um, because they're going to get a lot of supply. So that's just kind of how I'm viewing this market at the moment. I got stuck on a couple cards, right? We, we knew this was coming, but it's finally here. It is finally here. So GG's if you open packs and now you got like, I know some people that were getting 85 times 10 or 83 times 25, some of those really big icon swap packs and people are going to pack some insane stuff from them because they're going to open them. Some people are going to save, of course, but a lot of people are going to open and that's really going to impact the market today on this game. I also just feel like the market might be reaching kind of a tipping point. I don't know what content really is coming today on Saturday, but for a lot of these prime icons, especially, and for a lot of other cards in the game, a lot of your out of pack special cards are yes, up in price. Um, but I feel like you're having a lot of people right now on FIFA that are starting to get into that team of the year mode. And I think you're going to see that over the next 
you know, week especially, is that you're slowly going to start to have people transition from running, you know, their the best team they can possibly have to start running a few more untradeables. And they're going to start thinking about, hey, you know, team of the year is coming, probably going to be a little bit of a drop in the market as we get closer to that time frame. So I'm curious to see how the market is impacted um, in the next coming days because of that as well. But that's kind of the situation with the packs. I just think that there's going to be more packs open today on Saturday as we head into the day. People are going to wake up, see their packs, open them, drop in the market, maybe a slight bounce back on some cards. But then, of course, today on Saturday, we're probably going to have some more lightning rounds and more content for today on Saturday. So I'm going to speak on that for just a second. Uh, I know that yesterday, of course, we had the Payette SBC. A lot of people were hoping for a Kloss SBC, and I think... This Payette is really underwhelming for a lot of people. Yes, the card looks pretty good. Um, it, looks, it looks like a decent card, right? And of course, unless you're a Marseille fan, you're doing this SBC because you love Payette, um, or this is just kind of a FIFA legend, right? Payette's just kind of a FIFA legend in general. I, I don't have a problem with you doing this SBC if, you, if you're doing it for nostalgia reasons or just for fun or whatever it is. But if you're looking for a good value SBC for a great card, this is coming in at like 160K with an 85 and 86 rated squad required. I just don't think that it fits the bill, right? Ben Rama, of course, is a card that is almost similar to this Payet card. Um, not as good of passing, but he's Premier League. He's probably going to get some upgrades. Payet might get some upgrades, um, but I just I just don't think this is worth the value, right? So a lot of people, though, were hoping for the Kloss SBC. Um, and since that did not come... You know, we're still looking for that because that is a leaked SBC that could be coming soon. I don't know if that's going to be today, but this this guy is due a headliners SBC supposedly. Um, and this would be a big SBC for this game because a lot of people I think would be interested in doing this SBC card because it's a French right back. You know, it would probably be an 86 or an 87 rated card. So imagine a plus three, plus four on all of his stats. He would look really, really good. And if they make the SBC good value, that would be something that would get everybody very excited, I think, for an SBC on this game. So I don't know if that is today. I don't know any leaks for today um, or on this game for Saturday. Honestly, what I'm expecting today on Saturday is more lightning rounds. I think they'll drop some sort of SBC. Last week on Saturday, they dropped the Brandt card. So I would, I would imagine some sort of SBC player comes out today. I don't know if it's a showdown. Um, I don't think there's anything leaked alongside of that. But I would expect something content-wise today. Again, we still... Just have a little bit of caution because there could be preview packs. They didn't drop any yesterday, but that's kind of normal for a promo Friday. If EA really is wanting to drop this market heading into team of the year, uh, this would be a great opportunity for them to do so. And I think preview packs could be one of the ways they do that. Again, they dropped one earlier on this last week on Wednesday. So we'll see if they go ahead and do that again with any, any of the next few days on this game, we're going to keep our eyes out peeled. We're going to keep our eyes watching for that very, very closely uh, on this game. So there's going to be a lot of fluctuation on the market today, specifically on cards that are in packs. So if you're trying out any of these new headliner cards, I'd be a little bit careful with them. And I don't think you have to sit here and like panic sell your team. I don't think you have to be super duper worried about that. The only thing that's really going to cause a ton of market panic today, in my opinion, would really be um a preview pack a massive preview pack or some sort of massive sbc and i don't think we're getting another icon upgrade sbc until later on monday tuesday time frame since the base or sorry since the mid icon sbc is still available i don't think they're gonna you know overlap with that sbc but as you can tell like this vinnie jr has been the cheapest one on the market for like 15 minutes nobody has undercut it at least unless it was a snipe um, it's just been sitting here. People are really scared to buy right now. I think just because of all this preview, not the preview pack, but the compensation and EA giving back these packs. I think a lot of people are just not buying at the moment, which I'm a part of that, right? So I think you might see more drops this morning. People are going to see prices that get too low and then they're going to rebound back up uh, again for sure. I think on this game today on Saturday, but it's going to be short lived because we'll still have lightning rounds and people will be scared about that supply and maybe a preview pack. So it's going to be a crazy market day in terms of we'll see what people do when they wake up. Are people going to try to flip and buy cards or is this stuff just going to get supplied and get really, really low on this game? So also uh, Zakaria objective was one of the biggest W's from yesterday. Uh, this card looks really, really good and it's really easy to do. So again, two Fridays in a row where the objective player has been honestly one of the best cards released 
during the day. I know a lot of you guys are a bit bummed. You're like, yo, where is Fofana? Um, again, Fofana, Rafael Leao, Trap, and Wilson. Those are from the leaked squad of cards that we had. Those are the cards that were not released on the game yesterday. So we would imagine them to be a part of the mini release uh, on either probably probably Sunday. They've been doing Sunday mini releases for a long time now. Uh, I would imagine that to be the case with some of those. But I just feel like yesterday on FIFA where, you know, it was a day where you could have made some coins. Headliners team one rose really, really well out of packs. There wasn't a ton of panic selling, uh, but most of the stuff that went up yesterday and, and the best place to make to make coins yesterday on the game was just actually buying stuff that was panic sold a little bit in price right uh you know alessandrini was down a bit ganduzi was down at like 240 250 uh sterling was like 380 delane was a hundred thousand coins so you just had some of the market bounce back just off of people saying all right none of the cards are really sick that i want to go out and try today from headliners team two so they basically just went back to the market and either invested in cards like uh, Van Dyke went from 660k to 700,000, and Kunku went up like 50,000 coins. Mbappe is up to 4.7 mil. Um, Koulibaly went up in price. Acuna went up further. Luis Diaz is up further. Carrasco was up. Nabry was up, but then he kind of went back down because Bayern lost. So that doesn't start their streak. And it actually starts the first one game winning streak for Zakaria. So since uh, Muchen Gladbach beat Bayern yesterday 2 1, you're looking at a uh, Zakaria card that is technically on his way already to an upgrade. So that is very interesting. Another reason to maybe go out and do that SBC. But the market right now, we finally have compensation. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. We don't have to worry about compensation kind of like looming uh, on this market right now. But it's also very interesting just to know that... Uh, that uh, there's going to be people opening more packs today. So really watch the market. And if you want to try to trade any cards and do some quick flips, I would focus on the rare headliners. But um, yeah, that's kind of the where the market is at the moment. It was just kind of a quiet, like a dead day of content yesterday where a lot of people were like, okay, I'm just going to go buy my team back, play my weekend league games, open my packs, do whatever. And then, um, you know, wait for more content coming out. One other thing that we're going to see today on Saturday is going to be the... Team of the Year midfielders. Team of the Year midfielders are going to get released and announced. They didn't drop the loading screen like we talked about in yesterday's video. They didn't show that loading screen. It's not up in the game right now. Uh, but EA did tweet out the midfielders. I think today, two hours before content, they will tweet out midfielders. They tweeted out attackers yesterday. So today we'll learn the midfielders that will be in the vote for Team of the Year starting on Monday. So it's just kind of more info until we actually get the real Team of the Year vote on Monday. So kind of a crazy day with headliners team two. crazy day with the packs being opened again. I really feel like a lot of people are going to be opening those packs today. And I feel like people are going to be opening. It's going to cause a dip in the morning. It's going to bring some more supply. And then you might see a few rebounds, but then probably more prices heading down at content because uh, of lightning rounds specifically for the headliners that are in packs. But we will see what E has planned for today content-wise on a Saturday. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you do. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.